Hey guys, almost addicted here, and today I'm going to show you how to build this awesome wooden mansion. As you can see, it's got everything you need to survive. And uh, yeah, so I tried to make it simplistic but nice at the same time. So we've got even an underground bunker kind of area around here. So let me show you around. Uh, I haven't done the interior, so there is a lot of space. It's a very, very big house. Very, um, but uh, if we get enough likes on the video and views. I will definitely do an interior for this because I think it'd be quite cool to do an interior. So this is underneath the garden area and then we've got all this round here which takes you round to this side where we've got some nice window designs and yeah I just think it's a really really nice house and yeah we've got a nice little table area here where you can chill out. I've got a nice little crane system that's obviously working on the farm and we've got nice pathways and things so it's all in the tutorial uh, round here we've got this huge overhang and then round here we've got some big chimneys where we can do smelting and stuff like that and then the top garden at the top here and then we've got this huge tower with another little crane system and round the back here we've got some nice area this would be more into the mountain so it's kind of a bit more simplistic and plain and then we've got a balcony that goes all the way around here so uh, yeah make sure you slap a like on this video and without further ado let's build this awesome wooden mansion uh, I think it's pretty damn cool we've got a lot of chimneys here as well and um, but yeah this is on the inside so for space wise we've got a lot of space so we've got some rooms that we could put up here and this takes you onto a balcony that overlooks the house here and then through here got loads of space up here goes down here and yeah just quite a lot of room a uh, nice staircase going down here that's taking us up and uh, yeah so without further ado let's build this build and uh, if you want to subscribe because I'm definitely bringing out more stuff like this I'll put some more tutorials down in the description I've got some large modern mansions some medieval houses and stuff like that uh, definitely going to be doing some more medieval houses in time to come but yeah I think this is probably quite an extravagant uh, wooden house so yeah let's do this right so this build will fit in a hundred times a hundred roughly and um, yeah I'm gonna start off with the stone brick so I'm gonna start off in this corner over here now I'm gonna lay down the main foundations and I might uh, take blocks out um, just because yeah it'll be easier that way for me to kind of plan it out because I've got an idea in my head what it's going to look like but kind of don't at the same time so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 let's go up by 6 this is going to be our first square I might just leave it like that for now in fact I'll block it all in and then we can always go back so slash our set stone brick okay so now <laughs> don't throw that away I will be needing that where's he gone there we go okay so now I'm gonna go down this side so I'm gonna count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 and join it up there we're going to go out by 1, 2, 3, 4 I'm going to bring, yeah I'll maybe bring this up to the same level I'm going to cross by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 bring that up there and bring this across here and same with this like that and then um, yeah I'm gonna block it all in so I'll block this and then these parts here and this as well we will be taking stuff out but yeah I think this is just the best way that I feel could work good I'm going to leave that bit in there so in fact I might as well take that away that's going to be part of like uh, the outside area 
So yeah. And uh, then let's go across now. So on this corner, we're going to count one, two, three. We'll start on the third one. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. And then we're going to go across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, <laughs> thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. And then I cross by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And put that across there. And we'll count back by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Bring that up. And then... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 for this one. And bring it back by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that should close to that end. Like that. And then, of course, I'm just going to block it all in. And we can figure out window designs, wall textures, all that sort of magical stuff later. But, yeah. So I hope you don't mind me doing it this way because it's just a bit easier to kind of design because obviously I'm making this up as I go along. So if we do it this way we can we can do some experiments and see what looks best rather than me just making it up and then it turning out not as good as it could potentially be. So yeah, go all the way across here, fill this one in and here. That okay, um, should we block off this area? Maybe not. Nah. I'm gonna keep it open plan for now, and uh, that was just planned kind of what I was gonna do, but I thought I might as well do it this way. Okay, so we're gonna go around to the kind of front here now, and then I'm going to grab some of the stripped spruce lock. And from this very corner, we're going to count one, two, three on the fourth one. Bring it up to the same height as the wall. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then forward one, two extra and on the third one. So it'd be one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Like that. And then bring this up to the same height. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two on the third one bring that up to the same height as well four gaps bring that up one two three four five six seven on the seventh one six gaps there and then one two three gaps on the fourth one one two three four five on the sixth one five gaps and then three gaps there and then one, two, three, four, five gaps on the sixth one. Bring this up to the same height. Three gaps. Three gaps. Another three gaps. And another three gaps. Let's check. Make sure they're all the right height. Okay, so that's going to be our kind of balcony area. So I'm going to plan out what I should do for the balcony now. I think what we could do for this bit here, because I kind of want an overhang from here. So let's use some of the cobbled deep slate. And I'm going to one, two, three. And then for these bits, we're going to have to go diagonal, diagonal, one, two, like that. And then for this, diagonal, diagonal, one, two. Yeah, that should be okay. And then close that together. Close that together. Close this together. Like this. All the way across. Until we end at this point here. And uh, let's take a little look back, see how it look. Yep. So that's okay. Now I'm going to bring out this by, let's say... One, two, three, four, five. I think five should be enough, yeah. 
bring it out by five. And just kind of fill this in. Now we're going to fill in all the gaps that we've got here, going all the way around here. So I will use a little bit of wild edit. Um, let's see, cobble deep slate. So slash set cob cobble deep slate. Okay, I've done that bit, and then let's go to here. There. Okay. And that can just fill in this little bit here. And then um, I apologize if I use a little bit of will done it because uh, I think it's just best this way, especially if I'm just doing the designs. I know a lot of people like me to do it, but um, the videos end up being really long. And um, just while my PC's kind of running a little bit slow I'm gonna try and uh, do it this way just to try and save its health a little bit because uh, when it's rendering it's not looking good <laughs> so right to here and here okay we've got it now for that overhang I don't think I'm gonna have any thing kind of holding it up just kind of have it as an overhang I could have some potential um, things going down from there. So what I'm going to do from here is let's bring these up one more and then we can figure out like a balcony design that could potentially work. Might even bring them up by two. That could work as well. Let's bring them up by two and make it quite a big house that and then let's start here so this we're going to count one two three four five six seven could be could be potentially good yeah one two three four five six seven let's go up eight so we can go across like this as like a main beam and then this go across to there and this across to here like this like that perfect so that could be part of that there and um, yeah let's do it in this corner as well and bring this across and then one here here kind of edge out the framework and then we can go from there kind of thing and then over to here we want it at this point hmm should we have this one lower though now I'll keep it at the same height actually and then I'll have the bigger roof going over there and then we can see how it looks from that that point over to here this all the way back not not that far and to there and then this up to here to this point here and um, see bring this over to here to join on with this one and then for this here, we'll just have another one going from here and across here. So that's where the big roof will kind of end. And then we can have like uh, something there. But for now, that should be good. Okay, so for this, um, that'd be good for there. Let's see, that could potentially be a roof going down at that point. Let's do this, right? Um, bring this down like this to that point and we just scrape off the top here just these just these little bits here because I think we could have a smaller roof there just look a bit more interesting and we can do this going across to here 
and then we can have a support beam going down into the build like that just make it look a bit better right so now I'm going to use the deep slate I might use the deep tile slate for the roof like this and I'll show you the points where we got the stop at so we're going to stop this roof here at this point and same with when it's going to the other side as well so overhang, overhang by one at the moment and uh, probably speed up the roof part just to make it a bit easier so I'm gonna have an overhang of that's one two three let's have an overhang of four so one two three four and then underneath here what we could do is potentially have stairs going under like this right so go stair under but we'll, we'll take away the actual stair because we could fill that in with spruce instead right, so bringing these up same with this one until they re reach the top Or what's best to do, seeing as though we're doing it anyway, is do it like this. Is we grab some spruce stairs, if I can find them. Oh, damn it. Come on. There we go. Those will be going underneath here anyway. Just want to see if it'll look alright. Like that. I'm just going to do stair under and replace them, it's just a bit faster. Like this, come on. Come on baby, you got this. Yeah, these are quite difficult. Right, there we go. And at the top, just a little flick out like that. And then underneath all these, we'll put our stairs. Now, do we have the roof out by a little bit more, or what we could do for this actual centerpiece, if we just put one here and have this sticking out there. Now, I'm thinking what we could do is have this out by a bit more, or we could have this out by a bit more, and then it's just kind of like underneath. something like that and a stair okay yep nice big roof nice overhang and um, yeah I'm gonna bring this to here actually we'll stick this out like that and uh, if you want, maybe we could double it up with the black, so it's just kind of nuts behind it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Just want a nice chunky roof. I think it'd work well. And then bring that out. And we can get this there. Twist it like that. Yeah, we're going with that. Right, so now we're just going to take all these stairs, bring them all the way back to the point there. Same with this side as well. Bringing all those stairs back there. So I'm going to speed this process up and I will come back once it is done. Okay, I've done that and I've put some slab across the top like that. And we should do this for this one here as well. So we can have this going up. What we could do is we can even have the tile here. So let's do it a little bit different so we can have this going up so slab under until we reach the top where we can't go anymore which would should be at that height just so we've got different style roofs they're not all the same bring them across and then we can work on the other roof see if it works okay 
bring that to there. And same with this one. And same with this one. Okay. And let's have a little look back, see what it looked like. Okay, very nice. I wonder if we could put another one on top there that won't affect it too much. Yeah, yeah. Yep, it's a nice roof that. Okay, so now for the next one. Um, I kind of want an overhang, but another. Let's do this actually. See where we've got this one here? Let's bring this over here. And let's have another one coming down. Because we could have a building that's kind of sticking out from the back. We could still do the tiles here. So, let's have some kind of chimney coming out. I wonder what chimney might work. Um, we might change the chimney up, but I'm going to, for now, I'm going to use a stone. Like this, right? So we get this chimney here. We could have this to here, right? Let's have a big chimney. One, two, three, five, maybe. All right. Bring it up like this, and then height-wise, let's. So that's one, two, three, four. Let's just keep going back and seeing how it looks. Okay, so that'll be all the way through anyway, because that's where we'll probably put a fireplace or something like that. Um, let's go and now go into these bits here, so put it up by three. And then maybe what we could do is go over like this, so we've kind of got a hole in it there. And then we can kind of put a stone top on, so in the stairs maybe which might look good stone stairs and I wonder if we can curl it round upside down like this and it look alright yeah that's nice and we can texture it later and stuff like that but that will be good for that one and, and then we can have another building from there coming out and it kind of make it look a little bit more interesting um, roof wise for this one let's do something like this let's get the tile from here and then bring it round to here and then we can stop at this point so it's just past it right and then in fact there or there yeah, we'll stop there, in fact. And then go around like this. And then, I don't know if it'd be too high. But it should work out okay. Because we can go behind the chimney then. And then work it in with the chimney. So this one, we're technically... I wonder if it's worth doing this. Um, if we bring this down to here could put this going across at this point here and bring it down to there and removing that one so we can bring this round here and then we can do the same with this one so just having that go into there and then it separates them and then we can just go like that yeah way better and then we can have another outbuilding kind of coming off that one which should work out all right just want to see what this chimney um this uh, roof will look like so we're just curling it around and then uh if we have some other buildings off there right so next level okay and uh, hopefully this build comes out all right i'm praying I'm praying it does all right so stop at that point there and then it'll be up one higher then never done a wooden house like this but um, this is what I like to do just experiment and uh, see if it comes out alright if it doesn't it doesn't I'll probably post it anyway because you never know 
some people um, might like it, some people might hate it. But I'm not going to say that too soon because you never know. It's gonna, it could be it could be beast. But I've got a feeling it should turn out all right. This is why I wanted to block it out. At least we can experiment with it. And I guess you guys can as well. So while I'm doing it, if you don't like it, you can be like, oh, maybe I'll put this block here instead. Or I'll try this color instead of what I'm trying. Right, and then let's get a nice top here. Right, let's fly back. Take a look. Right, that's nice. I like that. And um, we can have another kind of feel like we should have a balcony here and then if we can kind of do it from this point here so that's kind of like an out balcony so we've got three gaps between there and then what we can do is we can actually get into the other building there and um, so let's start in there and there and yeah so we can start our building up here Let's do one, two, three, four, five. I think it'd work well. So two, three, four, five. Let's do six. And then we can border it off like this. And all the way over to here, bringing this up at this point. And then ending it here. And of course we've got our balcony there. Like that. And right, let me try a little balcony design that I think could work. Um, I'm going to try something different. So it's quite a, a high one. And let's try some different woods that might work right so we do something like this I just want to try it at this height first hmm let me uh have a look maybe we could do it like every other one maybe like that but then hmm I wonder and now I don't know if this would work let's just experiment I kind of like just going to the the good old lectins really even though they're expensive for most people um, they're in survival anyway we'll see what it looks like so like that and then when it comes for these we could have a lectins about that color yeah and trapdoors on here for these parts And then back to, yeah, while we're doing these, might as well. And then for the, like the straight parts, we could do the lectins. And then it's using less, less of them. But if you're in survival and it's a lot of resources, just use the fence instead. Um, which will work just as good. See, the fence just looks just as good, really. Um, let's see this I wonder if it's worth let's just see what it looks like first of all before we decide that's gonna be a thing so let's try the below so we can see the kind of um, the deep slate like that Hmm. Or we could do it even lower and then we can put bush from it. But will that be too low? Or what we could do is we if we wrap it in bush 
like the flower bush because I like this one and then we can put stuff underneath it like this let's have a little look back right and then we can actually get full on that underneath it or these trap doors or let's have a look what other ones maybe you could get a darker one might look good as well so just experiment with this and then you can kind of look back and go yeah I prefer that one I kind of like the dark one um, just add some different colors to it so it's not just all kind of plain uh, for these on top I wonder if um, I kind of like them too high um, but maybe a slab on top I don't know if a slab of stone would be alright or we could use the dark to go in with it the dark looks nice yeah I kind of go more to the dark the dark brown right I'm going to do that for all of these and then do the bush and the fence so lectins for these or fence of your choice because it is a wooden house you've got to go all out and then put these on here so we don't need any more of those fences because there's no more corners am I putting that correct yeah let's go up a bit Come on, man. <laughs> it's frustrating. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. Come on, little fellas. Uh, you have to let me know uh, what you think of the bigger builds or if you want more small, smaller builds because I don't know if uh, people want to build big builds anymore or if they do or don't. or It's uh, something you're going to have to let me know. You're going to have to fill me in because I've been away for a year. I don't even know what I'm missing. Am I missing out certain blocks that I could potentially use for building? Let me know. Let me know. Right, um, I'm going to put some stone from there just to end that point there. And then we can put this underneath. And then we can have some hanging chains and I could even... I'll show you what I'm going to do. Because we could get some curves at the bottom here for um, our walkways underneath here so we could get some stairs and make it a bit more interesting looking but for now that's all right let's work on this roof here let's do a roof where hmm let's do yeah let's do a roof that's like this that's more bigger so overhanging by just one I think would work better each side and we can somehow kind of get them so they join in together we'll put the lectins here and lectins across here let's um, find the center here bring it down so we can kind of we've got some something that we can work with let's bring it a bit more in fact and then we can bring this roof a bit further back and it will work a little bit better let's bring it back to that point there and then we can remove these right okay that going to there maybe even overhang by one more so it's almost onto the other roof but not so it's kind of like covering this a bit and um, let's get a little lectern that point now uh, yeah kind of a uh, do we put a little roof here maybe and then if we smash it through here we can do this back one where these parts of the roof kind of join onto here yeah I think that could work and this kind of coming around to here like that 
and then we could have it coming down just to make it look interesting at the back bring it down and stop it at the point where we're here on this kind of ledge thing we can put them underneath here as well kind of makes that balcony a bit more make a little bit more sense as well um, and it just makes it look cool so yeah we'll go from here let's spring one of these up so it goes to this point as well so it's kind of matching in with that um, so yeah and I'm gonna do the same here with these stairs overhang by one that and uh, yeah stair under stair under fill in this whole roof just to look peak at the top and I'm going to speed this process up as well uh, so I'll come back once I have got this done so it's just stair under to the top and uh, fill in the roof okay so that roof's done and yeah obviously I've done the little flick and then the slab and I've just put a pole going all the way through there I'm gonna work on something here um, I'm gonna have this going across at this point here so we've still got the end sticking out and then um, what I want to do is have so we'd have like a free window here so on the third one so three gaps one two three gaps on the fourth one bring it up and bring it up here and then we can bring this across so it's supported by that and then this is where I want the stairs so we grab these stairs here and um, we can make kind of a, a thing going down here where it looks like it's supported. And technically it is. So, stair under with the spruce. And then we could get a trap door of the spruce. And just put it down there like that. What we could do for this is bring the flowers at least round this point and bring them round to here. So at least we've got some pretty flowers going around there. So we've got that holding that up, which looks pretty cool. And um, yeah, we could. What we could do here is we could have that pole going up to here. We we'll just replace that one like that. Um, do we have one I think what we could do here I want to try something and um, so I'm gonna grab the stripped oak logs and stripped birch logs now for this um, I don't know if it'll work but I'm gonna give it a go so let's try doing it this way let's do the oak and then we could have the Let's do the oak for this, actually, where we had the spruce. And then the rest of them, we want the logs kind of going up like this. Just all the logs going up. We're going to have to remove these, aren't we? And then we can fill in some windows after, but I just kind of want to look at what it looks like as a top and then we can work on some window designs that will work good with it yeah sorry about putting those ones there but that's just how it goes sometimes okay so yeah that is nice um let's think of a window design here i'm kind of wanting some kind of window like this and then we could grab the oak as a filler Okay, um, wood, a spruce like that, and some stairs look all right. Or could we have it with a spruce trap doors like that? Make it extra. And like that. Kind of want to keep it as simplistic as possible but still got enough detail so something like that would be perfect I'm gonna use some of we'll just see which glass works best the white of the plane so let's have a look at this one first 
and then you guys can decide what you like. So we've got that one, or we've got this one. It looks all right with both of them, um, or that. I'm kind of going for the 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 normal glass. I think works quite well. Just uh, a little bit more contrasty, I think. Makes it stand out well. Um, bushes and stuff like that. Let's get a little um, pot. Flower pot and one of these. Just put them either side, even. It's looking nice. And then a little lantern hanging. Trying to make this one a little bit more simplistic, but still looks awesome at the same time. Now, what we could try here, because we've got the thing, let's try it with the, the birch stairs. So, for now, let's just fill in these side panels just see what it looks like yeah I'm digging that or could try we'll just see what it looks like <clears throat> and then you guys can decide if they uh, prefer that or the other one I kind of prefer this one um, but you can keep the other one like that that's nice for that now for this bit here um, what should we do hmm let me have a look let's see could we have a big open window there maybe and maybe have the balcony coming out here maybe what we could do is if we bring this out we can have a tiny, let's have a balcony like this. It's just a nice simple one. Let's go with the deep slate to here. And then this across. And then some of the lecterns. Okay. And uh, do the balcony look better with one up or one off? We shall see. Yeah, let's make it a bit higher. Okay. Trap door. And then maybe we could do a big glass door there or something of some form. But something like that's nice. Um, maybe we could get some stairs just to underneath here and then a trap door like that like that and that I'm bringing this across so it looks nice underneath as well and we can work on that later the underneath bit but for now yeah I'm gonna keep it really simplistic like that because I think it's gonna it's gonna turn out well it's gonna look good so for this one here, let's get the oak and um, let's just get these to here and then we can have some glass doors here. Maybe if we turn these this way now and could we take out some kind of a square Let's put them downwards, like that, and then some kind of glass doors, do them in the, the normal, that's what we've done here, in fact, so they're opening out, like that, and then let's get um, 
wonder if we could light it up with an end rod but you could use um, a steel or whatever whatever it's called um, an iron thingy I wonder if I wonder if because we've got that bit going across there we can have that like that I kind of don't like it though. I kind of like it plain and maybe we could do it for this do something like this just above the doorway and then across the top we could leave it open and then use some of the oak hmm yeah I'm gonna go with that and then for the roof let's make it a little bit textured by putting that underneath there do the same for here as well okay and then of course we'll fill in the glass here and use some of might use the plane this time across there and then um, I kind of want a bush with a compositor thing Composite, composter, composter, and I wonder if it's better at the side so it's not interrupting the door at least. And then three higher, so like that. And then um, keeping it simple still, but just adding these, like the pin in it into place. We don't have to go overboard on the texturing because we've got these instead. So one in the middle, one in the middle, and maybe one there, there, and there, like that. And I just think that's um, simplistic but nice. But what we can do to finish that off, I feel we can have use, probably use this actually. And. Uh, Let's just see what it looks like, just adding that little texture in there. Yeah, it's kind of nice, but we could just do it for the centerpiece there, maybe. Just for that one. Yeah, it's kind of nice, I like it. So, yeah, I'm going to stick to this for the build, this sort of style, I think it would look um, good. And then we'll do like something underneath. So I'm going to take a, a bit of a break, but first I'm going to do what I did here. So using the bridge and the stripped oak, like that, looking nice. And. Um, yeah, I'll figure out what I'm going to do for that. I'll figure out what I'm going to do for that. But, pretty, pretty, pretty like that a lot. I do like that a lot. So, yeah, I'm going to come back so I'm fresh and ready to tackle this build. Right, okay, so I'm going to go and fill these in completely with the stripped birch for now. Just so it's a plain wall and then we can go from there or you guys can just wait until i've done it and then you can build after so, that, so you don't have to remove blocks and stuff um best doing it that way so we've got a nice plain wall to work with so we could definitely have a doorway so let's count one two three four five one two three doorway maybe a four doorway like that. Let's do five and then we do the birch. Like that. And we could have some windows here. Okay. And keep with the theme. Let's put this going all the way through. And then I wonder if we'll fill these in at least like 
like that. And um, let's see what would be a good shout for this one. I kind of we could have a little overhang where hmm if we do it from maybe here, right? Get rid of that for now. Because I kind of want some of this kind of thing. We'd have to put it on maybe this layer. Overhanging. We've got the windows, but just to this point. So if we bring it out to about this point, we can have some deck chairs and stuff. Yeah, to that point, because obviously we've got a, a slate there that will get in the way. Um, we could even use campfires over this bit as like a little balcony. Let's, let's use some campfires. Uh, might get a little laggy, so I'm gonna be prepared for this. So, if with this go here, and we can put stuff underneath. Yeah, okay. So, pretty much bringing it to the point we can. And uh, I don't know how these work. Do they set your house on fire? <laughs> because uh, I'd, I won't be happy with that. I'll be honest with you. Let's bring them to here. Let's start putting the fire out before uh, we glitch out completely. So I'm just going to grab the shovel and uh, take this out. There we go. Yeah, kind of like it. Let's uh, bring it to this point here. And then we can see if we can bring it out a bit more, or if it's necessary. To, let's see, is there any point bringing it to that? Maybe we could just bring it to here, and then we could have, obviously, something holding it up. Let's get this fire out first, and we can plan from there. Now across the back here, just so it covers up a little bit more of that so it's not completely plain there, we can have this support in there. And then we need something of some form just kind of um, supporting, uh, like a supporting beam so we could have the spruce maybe just underneath here. It should fitting with that yes very nice and then I kind of want let's have big doors here as well will these interrupt each other yeah so we'll get them at this point and then you can put the spruce in or the end rods whatever you want for that and um, let's keep it nice and simple. Maybe too high. That's all right, like that. And I kind of feel like I want some chains. And I want some lanterns. Maybe some signs. Maybe the birch might work. I'm going to see if this works. Um, one, 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 like that. And then a hanging lantern from there. I wonder if I should bring it down even more. Yeah, let's bring it down even more. And then hang the lanterns. Okay. I just want to see where the signs rest on them. Oh, I should have them up even more. Yeah, so... I want them a bit higher than that. Then when we put the signs on, we can at least see them from underneath. Sign, sign, sign. Will these signs go back to back? That is the only thing. If they don't, that's not good. Right, so. Hmm. Let's try it like this. 
So just two of them like this, and then we can have the rest just hanging. Yep, yeah. and then I want a table. Maybe we could go for a white table or something like that. Let's get the quartz. Um, slab. This might not work, but I'm going to give it a try. Three. So from that one. So starting in between each one of these and then bringing this across could have like a little chair area let's get some stone a stone slab like this people can sit out in this area very nice and um, get some flowers either side. And um, what? Put in a little fern or something. And then item frame for our dinner. Let's have steak. Nice steak dinner, and then for afters, have a little bit of cake, <laughs> as you do. Very nice. Little outside area there. Um, could even. I wonder if. Oh, god damn it! I wonder if the table would be better in this sort of colour. I'm just experimenting. Um. As long as we don't move the trap doors, we should be okay. Um, so we've got that there and place of our cakes on. Something like that. You get the idea. You get the idea, don't you? And um, in here, I wonder if we could have them like that. Just to make it look a little bit more interesting. And um, yes, so for that, very nice this here could we use something a little bit different where we just use the actual birch so we've got a few different textures and then at the top here as well okay and place it in there okay and um, Maybe have a door there and a window at the side or something. And just a nice simple door to that point. Maybe that there. And a window at the top, perhaps. Hmm. Yeah will do and then but in the middle here I'm gonna is this equal or so it's five one two three four five let's place it like this that's not the center so we have it like this. We've got a two dollar there. And let's put these to here. Just for now, filling it in. And, um, okay. Can have some bigger windows for these. Some big square windows. 
and have our glass. Fill these in. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, maybe. And um, have that coming across here. Maybe we could use the oak. Kind of don't like these sort of things though. Let's do it like this. Okay. Keep it nice and simple. I'll keep these going down. What should we do for that doorway though? Let's see. Could we have just um, where it is some slab? Literally no slab anywhere. some slab. Come on. And two windows so it's at least the same height as that. And this at the top. Maybe this here with some stairs instead. Okay. And um, let's get some dirt. Okay. Let's get these. Fill them in and we can put some plants there and stuff. Okay, some flowered stuff, whatever that is. Yeah, doorway. I'm actually using the oak door. Same with this one. And I feel like I should just add a bit of texture to that. By adding this in. Okay. And then across here we've got that one there. And then we've got underneath. That's nice. Let's do this to here. Same as what we've done the other sides. So we're keeping to that theme at least. Okay. And where we've got this here, let's do it here at least. Now, I wonder if we could do it like this. Keep this one here, and then three gaps, one, two, three. Birch. Okay. Let's fill it in all for now. Might even look alright plain. It's just like a plain thing. But we shall see. it's the, the side of the building and um, I kind of feel like what we could do is have another chimney coming down from there so we can make sense of that um, let's get the top as well so a chimney going through here if we 
bring it all the way out the top. down the side of the building as well. Uh, I don't know if we should double thickness it out here. Yeah. Okay, bring it out by a, another one. Let's fill it all in whole. You can add some texture to that and stuff, but yeah. So that, let's go one, two, three, four, like that. And then we'll go up and over, making that there. And did we, yeah. And then we can have the stairs wrapping round, like we did with the other one. Okay, very nice, very nice. That's good. And um, yeah, we could build this up. Put the stairs here and here. And if we take these chunks out and then just place some furnaces in there. It's like an outside furnace area melting area. Get some slab and run it around across the bottom like that. Um, what we could do is, since it's all raised up there, I'll just end it at that point there. Like that. Maybe get some bush. It's worth just doing it to there. And then you'd have like maybe a place here. Somewhere like that. You get the idea. But you can even, uh, what you can do is take chunks out here and there. Make it look a little bit more interesting. Yeah. Um, one wanting to do this, like maybe a little outside farm of some form. Um, but we're going to have to use some of the things here. go like this to put another layer on top and then we can remove the bomb and then from the inside boom 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 there we go so we've got a little farm here let's uh, bring that across there and that across there and fill it in there as well if you want and then we have a little doorway into there and stuff. Let's have a window here. Like that. Put a two doorway there or something. Then I might do the, what I've done here. do it for this bit as well where we've got the doorway could take that out just so we could do it in fact yeah something like that you get the idea anyway um, bit of a long window there for a change 
what did we do for these? Yeah. Right. Like that. Do the same for this one. Put that glass in. coming together quite nicely so far of course because we've got a lot of thin bits once you put the put some kind of things we'll put a let's put a random window here as well same height as what we've done with that is it the same height no there we go and uh there we go one in there and then this Okay, and of course adding some buttons here and there, so that will be pinned into there maybe, keeping it nice and clean, there, there, there and there, maybe there and there, and um, yeah, let's get that place it here put it from the inside actually because adding more texture on this will probably work out a bit better um, some bush here and um, kind of think what we could do for here is um, definitely have some hanging lanterns from this point because it it being a garden and stuff. Um, cam campfire as well. hanging from here one two three obviously to bring some light to our garden but also make our build look a bit interesting and some fence Obviously, just to decorate the windowsills and stuff, put some of these. So it's not completely bare, it's got something going on. Uh, we can do something here with these. One, two. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Maybe have that there and just have them like that. Put the one here. Kind of like it plain like that. Um, seems to work all right. Just having it plain, it looks clean. Um, could even. at least like that kind of liked it how it was to be honest just plain to the ground sometimes that is just the best option yeah like it like that um, so yeah for that um, I wonder if it's worth just in these corners like every now and again if it's worth even doing that like 
Maybe not for that out bit. We could try it, I guess. Just for these corners. It might not, though. No. I prefer it. Um, stone for this bit, at least. Maybe for the other corners and stuff. Like around the build. But yeah, I kind of like that one. That one looks good. Same for this one as well. I think that will pay off having that there. A little less plain. Um, yeah, let's look around and then we can work on the bombs. But so far, so good. Oh god, here it comes. Here it comes to lag out my game. Let's take a look around. Yeah. We'll do something really plain here, but something that stands out. Because this is going to be the kind of thing we need to make the build look good. Hmm. Let's do it all in this for starters. And then plan from there. oak and all of that magical stuff and see if it works because probably going to be getting a thumbnail from this side so it's kind of it's important part see let's have a look at which parts that kind of stand out here it's like those windows I think like that window that's kind of the thing that makes it I feel so I'm going to do the same as but two of these so how many high is that? One, two, three. <coughs> yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Same from this side. We're going to have to do it from here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Budget along a bit. And uh, these here, these across here, and across the top. this in we'll see what it looks like and go back and then plot from there and um, kind of feel like we need something of some form as like a lower level so I don't know maybe if I get something like this across the bottom All right, in the middle as well. Hmm. Mibbers, mibbers, and something of some form coming. different kind of lighter oak shiny green would be different or even just texture in it with it mm. 
Mm-hmm. Maybe it's, maybe it's, maybe that's okay. Okay, so. Something like that. Maybe some here. Maybe just simple ones here. on something else for around there and um, for this I just kind of really like how that is it's very hard to replicate it make it simplistic on here because it does get really busy with all this stuff but at the same time it's probably needed um, I'm gonna for this try something different see how it stands out off just to that point and uh, of course bringing this I'm not sure if it's worth doing this like I'll try it out like across like this and making it work into the build this way over the top there. Okay. And then this would be slotted into here. I suppose when we get to a certain point like here, uh, we could leave that open. Leave it like that and have this bit underneath here just kind of there and then we can use that as a balcony part put the stairs under here like this to end that roof like that and then we can grab some of the lectins just for this bit do that if you want I kind of like that that's kind of nice and of course we're gonna get some flooring down I'm just gonna use an oak up here we'll of course get some dangling lanterns so you can see it from afar as well and obviously so it'll light the place up a bit okay 
figure out some door designs and stuff and I wonder if putting these on top would take anything away from it at all. Yeah, I kind of feel like at the top here, just seeing that colour like that is uh, just a little bit better. So we get some lanterns and we could even put this through. It's just where we can hang the lanterns at least. And, uh, like that. And end with that one there. So, lantern. running through joining onto there there we go makes sense looks good hmm, we could have other roofs coming off here but at the same time will it be worth it um, we could have one roof I guess um, let's go up from these points here and then let's break it to count one two on the third one break it up to that point and just like that and then so we've got that point there so starting from here and here and just bring them round make the roof a little bit more interesting so it's not just completely bare. There we go. And then this to here. Obviously break that so it fits into there. Have another little chimney coming out from there. Probably look alright. Keeping it simple. Put the stairs under here. And I uh, wonder if a four thing like that would look alright. Keep that one really basic. And maybe another one here actually. So in between these. We stick that out there. We can do exactly the same. So, yeah. From did we do it past it? Yeah. Start in there. So just past that one, and then just past that one, and then just yeah. What we did before with the other roof. This is obviously not necessary. Um, well, none of it is really. <laughs> But it's uh, I just kind of uh, just to make the roof look less plain, so it's not just all completely plain. It's it looks like it's doing. It's got like extra stuff going on. Plus, it gives us a little bit of light upstairs in the roof. There we go. And last one there. That's. Did I? Bring it back to there and then get these to close if they will. There we go. And do the same chimney design. And like that. Can put another one here as well. Double vented. double thing stair under 
and then fill in our glass and look back and think wow we've done it there we go but so far so good so what I'm going to work on next we've got this round here haven't we and this is quite a bit to do so I might take another little break but for now maybe yeah I'll take a break because I don't want to rush it but yeah slap a like on the video if you're liking it so far and uh, yeah we shall continue right okay so I've had an idea I might put a staircase coming down from here and uh, yeah so we don't have to take out too much that way so let's get some stairs might do it in the spruce like this and then there uh, just to that point right I'll bring these stairs down we'll see what it looks like then and then we can add some gardens around I think it'll look quite cool I've got some uh, cool ideas that I thought that I could add to this build, which would make it look pretty awesome. Let's get to this point. So one, two, three down, and then we could grab some of the pokes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and then let's down to here and then we could have the stairs like that we could even bring this further over here and have it like that and then at least we can kind of join this on down to that point and then we can have the stairs going down from here as well so we could bring this one over here and then have another one here as well kind of match it let's do it up a bit more um, let's put these on top let's bring it up so we could at least bring the flowers to that point we could even do it one more like that and then at least it's covering the stairs there and then put some more stairs here and grab our lectins that is not the lectins select there we go there I wonder if I should do this one higher with that I put these on and then we can have the stairs going down from here bring those down okay and um, now to cover these bits here maybe just like that work well maybe one more even um, like that now we can, we can do it like that and then we can see the stairs at least and then these on top. Okay, let me have a little look back. Okay, that's interesting. Now, um, I'm wanting to do this. Now, will it work? I don't know. Um, but I'm going to give it a go. So I'm going to do dirt first of all. So it's cheap, easy. Um, two, three, that'd be a one. And then one, two, three here. Then a one. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. One like that. So that will be grass on top, but for now, it's going to be dirt. So bring these down here. And I kind of want like little stages of gardens. I just think it'll make it look a bit better, less plain here bring this down to the ground and then we can see what works with it and 
and I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. We can wrap it with something as well. <coughs> Excuse me, right, okay. So, so it'd be from this point you start in a three and then three one three one. We could put like little gardens. And it steps down into other little gardens. Will it work? I have no idea. Let's do it to there so we can see the circle a bit better. Huh, we could even fill that just for the corner piece. And um, yeah, so like that. And then we could have a stair going down. Grandma stair. Two. Have more. I'll do it in grass. More grass. Three. Imagine the threes at the back and then one out of the side here. And one, two, three. One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three, like that. to join it on as well don't have any idea if this will look any good but we can kind of use the inside space as well for something not sure what yet so we've got that going down to there and maybe bring the stairs going down this way this time and then do another one two three diagonal one two three diagonal one one two three diagonal one one two three diagonal one and of course fill it in with grass I'll do the dirt underneath first so I can replace it a bit better. Okay. And uh, yeah, fill it in with grass. And hopefully it look it should look alright. Should be uh, something a little bit different. Yeah, so nice stages, and then um, we can get some logs to go around it. So we get these logs up. probably do it in less logs and more planks to make it a bit less resource heavy. I'm kind of just testing the waters with this for, for now. Just seeing how it looks and seeing if it'll be alright. Let's do another one here as well. Okay. So where have we got the dirt? Just basically covering it up like that. That's to that level. Check if it's the same level as everything else. And for underneath here, we just have to replace that. No big deal. Okay. these down and then um, I could probably put out some windows so it kind of looks like it's been used as well so like window there window there kind of thing do it all the way through so you can kind of get into it and use all these places like 
that. Can use. Could have this as a doorway to actually get into it. So doorway to get into it, and then we can use this as usable space for something. I guess it's just kind of like a little mud hideout of some form. And let's get some lanterns in here. Yeah, it's a cool little mud hideout. Yeah. Okay, so for these, um, I'm thinking, do we leave them like that? Or do we kind of bring them up? I kind of think we could just kind of get away with that. Just leaving them like that. We might have to um, put some dirt underneath the roof. if we're going to put a water source and we're going to actually have a farm there it's probably a bit of a better idea so for here as well we might have to just put it through just make sure we put it through the middle like that so let's have a water source here could just put that into the ground water Okay, water there, and water there as well. And then we can put some farm stuff there, and we could probably clear a space so we can actually get into the top of the farm here, get some gates or something. here and stuff what we could do is um, just for these kind of bits have little grass areas coming out of there do is probably add bush um, we could add the same bush that we put here um, just for little areas we could have like something like that worth having like that open but just having a a little walkway like that or something and we can have a little seating areas out there and stuff let's do it for this one as well So you can kind of sit out, chill out, and um, yeah, let's make this. Let's 
see how it looks. And boom. There we go. Let's grow it and see if it looks any good. some carrots for the top level okay hopefully that's enough water to supply it all I'm not too sure the radius of everything but uh, yeah It'll do for a demonstration, I guess. If you're in survival, you can do it. Um, yeah, there we go. Should probably speed this, all this stuff up, but um, yeah, I keep forgetting. There we go. Let's just fill this in real quick and then take a look back and see if it looks any good. All nice and overgrown, yes. And then just for this one, Let's just put some flowers in there. Save a bit of time. But you can obviously make that into a farm. I kind of feel like we should cut off a corner of these because they're kind of too square for my liking. Yeah. Something like that. And then we can have winding paths and things. you would have a path running to meet up with this one. There we go. Get some of these flower ones.
tidy it up, make it a bit more cleaner, but pff, yeah, you get the idea for that. Kind of just wanted to at least get a garden down so it looks all right. And uh, yeah, and then we can work on the other stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna um, come back in a minute. Right, so I've done a bit of off work camera. I tidied up the garden. I didn't like it messy. So uh, yeah, I've just done some clean paths, just some little chairs around. You can make it however you like, but I kind of just followed my way around all this stuff, just to the back there. Um, and then just put little lanterns on each one of those things. And then just little posts here and there. I've just done like a three walkway, so you can have a three walkway go out to there. I didn't move those posts. Three walkway that takes you around to there. And that's it. Just some clean little tidy benches there. Also, um, I've done a little crane system coming from here. So it's just one, two, three, four. Two grindstones and two chains like that. A stair facing that way. A couple of those. And that going down, kind of picking up a piece of dirt. And then underneath here just a couple of chains down on the big areas just having a lantern there just think makes it look a little bit better and um, that's pretty much all i've done um oh yeah change these leaves to the those and that's it really um yeah so uh these little bush things as well a bit of stone around there but you can change it up it doesn't have to be like that but i kind of like the garden to be a bit neat and tidy um just personal preference i guess and um, yeah, so you can just do stuff like this and add it into the ground. Do it as you choose, but um, yeah, I like this sort of thing. That will suit me. So yeah, I'm going for something like that. You can change it, it doesn't have to be like that. Um, but yeah, let's work on that side now. So for here, let's keep it nice and simple like we have the others. We'll just have it as like, a window fill it in with our birch could maybe put a massive window here that might work as well uh, we could do that let's see or what we could do is like we've done those little rafters there so that would just be using these one two I might do three spaces just for this one bringing it up to this point and then three spaces one two three on the fourth one like that and then yeah we'll put in oak here instead just the sides oak and then we can put the stairs at the side do the same at this side as well grabbing our oak and the stairs we can work on a big window. Right, let's uh, fill this in with this. Okay, what size window should we have? Should we have maybe up to there? Get some of this. One, two, three. One, two, three. And um, like we've done the stairs here, so we grab this. Grab our slab, some stairs, yeah. Stair there, stair there. That going across, that. Three across there. And uh, let's fill in this window. Simple enough design. Let's see what we can do for here. If we could get some bushes going down the side maybe. And, um, Maybe have some lanterns hanging from here actually on a chain. So I'm going to grab my chain and my lantern. Just the one chain, or maybe two in fact. And a lantern just hanging down from there. And yep, yeah, pot on each one of those, and then grab our flowering thing put that on and then um, yeah keeping it nice and simple so let's just do the two and then just have the bush with the compositor thing here if I can find it 
There we go. That underneath there, that underneath there. Let's have a little look back. It's looking good. And then yet yeah, just to uh, keep it simple, but put some side panels just on these bits. In fact, yeah, we'll do like we've done on the other side at least. So it kind of looks the same. Did I do it there? No, I did it a bit, a bit lower. So on that one. look like that that's nice and uh, yeah let's do this top here I'm gonna stick with this theme just for the bottom part and fill it all in and then what we did over there at that big one I'll do the same for this one one two one two pretty much all windows this windows in there because people are not really going to see this because of uh, that in the way and then this we can bring across I don't know how I did it at the other side so I'm gonna actually take a look because I, I know it's not completely plain I did have um, so let's have a look so yeah so something like this and then the oaks at the side let's do the oak here and here and then have our window here it's gonna have to be a two one like that like that and that and then let's grab this trapdoor across there one there like that fill the glass in have our lantern at the top and might have these going through like that and then just hang a lantern from each one so at least it is lit up back here yeah that looks nice I'm gonna put a pot on and grab the green one for a change pot pot green green and then grab our buttons um, I don't know what I'm gonna do for these maybe at the bottom here like that no more there that we need let's have a look that's good and then we've got all this bottom stuff we can work on this side panel we can pretty much copy what we've done here I might have to look at it in fact it's one two isn't it so two layers like this okay and then this going up and then we'd have two here making sure it's level with that and then one here what, what is this one is that a stair yeah kind of the stairs going through there isn't it so stair roughly so it's on here here and here and here and then we we'll grab our oak one two three because the top's going to be filled in with this and yeah so we'll grab our oak for that and then the window is the same as these ones so stair there and then we can get our trap door and then one there and two across fill in our window because it's quite dark at the back you can, I'll tell you what we could do for these could even do this where it kind of looks like the windows are uh, opening up 
like with there, like they've been opened. It's quite a good idea actually for a lot of them, but we could do it at this level, maybe. Like the window's been opened a little bit, yeah. Let's bring it down a bit more, because I think I'm going to do that for most of them. You don't have to do this, but um, I'm going to keep this one here actually at this level, because then at least we can put something on the windowsill. Put some lanterns in the windowsill there, and some pots. I've already got one out actually, right there, and then fill these in. Um, might have to do something here and um, for this bit here what we can do is we can do it from the inside so we'll we'll get to that in a minute but keep it nice and plain there so one two three four five windows and then on this one bring it up to this point and then put some bush on here so it's a not completely blank wall and uh, yeah Could put some stuff outside and make it look a bit more interesting this side I will put these on make it look all right and uh, let's have a look at this side let's try and fix these windows just some of them yeah that's nice for that one I'm gonna leave that one uh, might do it for this one and this one and this one leave it for those ones these top ones maybe as well just add some more detail for those top bits um, I kind of uh, I'm starting to not like this from a distance just uh, these ones taken away something from the build I feel and the cakes as well maybe I duck down and have the things here there we go much better much better much better um, we could have some hanging flowers as well, but might do that in the next one. Right, let's go over here. Let's look at the back. Let's do this one now. So for this one, let's do it all to here and here. And then grab our oak. The oak. and uh, yeah I like it like that and um, 
get some of the buttons there and for this one we could keep it nice and simple so this to here and then do it like we've done with these ones so grab our birch stairs and simple for that one and um, might have this going through and stopping at that point there but have it in this as an even smaller chimney there and then we want this chain one chain there one chain there and then a chain kind of coming down get to this point Let's have that For no reason Just to make the build look a little bit more interesting, I guess. And that sticking out there or something. 
and then we just got that little bit and then obviously all the bottoms to do so for this here let's do the same as the other side okay so every other one and then we can fill it in with the birch this side is kind of like into a hillside so it's a bit more basic okay and then one is it just one across the top yeah one across the top and then fill our windows in for the last one and then oh yeah okay Let's see what it looks like Just looks nice out here and then kind of feel like got some bush going across here and have this underneath each one Yeah, and just do it as the thing running across here. Then we can get some lanterns and light it up a little bit. Okay. And um, yeah, for this one here, so count one, two, three, four, five. And then do the same here, so one one two three four five gaps and uh, we could even do it here but i kind of think we should do it on the inside so we had a wall going up here in the stone have this going up on the inside like that just to cover that bit in Get a bush in there or something and uh, yeah, I'm going to do the same kind of pattern that we've done. Like that, I'll do it this side as well. And here, and then we've got that birch. side and here and for this here I kind of feel like we should come out a little bit more let's say by two let's put this across here bring this up let's say one two three four five and then kind of want a little reef coming up here side where we've got that that can go across now and then just every other one where these would be we can just fill them in or we can have them as glass like that and then fill in these sides we can look at the side see if uh, something like this can be done and then what I will do is do the birch to here. And then I'm going to use some of this. 
oak. Do the birch cross there and the birch cross there. Do it one more time. And then, yeah, we can make a little windowsill here. So, there. In fact, there and there. Get this going across. And then, this going across here. Get the window in here. And get our lanterns. Nope. That's not let me select it. There we go. And like that. Have that sticking out here. Hang the lanterns from it. And there you go. I'm going to grab some bush and wrap it around this area here. And then have these corners out like this and then like that. And then we can just put some of this. Bring these down one more. Maybe another time. And then this here. And then we've got that side done. Um, I'm going to pop out some holes here. One, two. Um, that's two off the ground, isn't it? One, two there. Okay. And then maybe another one, two here. And then we're going to figure out some kind of underground stuff. But we've pretty much got the whole of the house done. But I'm going to, yeah. Let's do something like um, andesite some of the spruce, those normal windows, right. So find the middle, two, three, four, five, and then six with the underside, and then this, that's an open window, okay, and then uh, could probably do the same that we've been doing here. Where we get this and this going across. Just a nice sort of open window design there. Um, let's go underneath here now. some and we want kind of like maybe a doorway here or something into the place so I'm going to get some andesite maybe down to this point get some glass going over the top and then just have it as kind of like an open door like that a normal windows like this yeah on the under here we can add some of this stuff and then oh no is some of this no what's happening there right so I need yeah these so we can do little plant pots and stuff <coughs> and then you can honestly seriously put the lanterns kind of where you feel would work but you kind of want them in areas where it shall light it up nice above the door 
the corner. Another corner here. And I kind of think. Let's see. So it's open plan here. I definitely. It's good potential for an interior, this one, for sure. Um, outside here, I kind of feel like we should have some oak on the floor or something. Just to. Kind of make this look like. An, it's not part of the garden still, we're start, starting to get onto the other parts. There we go. I'm gonna leave that just in case. I'm gonna leave that just in case I get to a, a different area. Right, okay. Uh, just in case I do a part two for the interior for this. Because I think it's got potential. Five. <laughs> no. So I should set five over one, maybe? No. Five over two? No. Five over. Just five over something? Five over three? Five over four? Five over five, even? If it's a four, and I've just skipped it. Four, five over six, so five over six, five over zero, maybe. Oh god. Slash slash set oak plank is probably substitute right. like that. Well that didn't work out as planned. There. Fill in some of the manual. Um, bring it down here. As you can see, I've just kind of flattened it out. Put it on a normal world and then just kind of made it all flat. So we've got that running through there. Uh, we can have another one. Through here, keeping it all squared off and nice. Hmm. Let's put one here, one here to keep with this theme. And um, yeah, let's get the oak to here, and um, yeah, we can do all underneath here. To this point, so we don't interrupt all the flowers and stuff, and then to this point, and nope, that's not good. And to right, let's go from here to here, okay. And then from here all the way to the end. And then we can kind of fence this bit off. Um, probably best doing planks for this bit here. Yeah, and I might fence that bit off. We could even use some of these lectins. I thought I selected that then. There we go. Like that. Put a lantern up there. And we could do another nice window design there or something. Which kind of. simple for these ones but you can change up the windows and stuff but obviously I'm not gonna spend completely ages doing that because it would just um, take away from the tutorial I think make it seem like it's too much 
I don't want that. Right, so I wonder if this would look good. bush running underneath looks good as well actually so yeah yeah let's do it we just have to um, work with it okay and then just put these lanterns behind it There we go. Let me just have a little look back. Yep, looks busy, looks good, and uh, yeah, I'm liking it. Turn that into a full wall, maybe. Put a grindstone here for no reason whatsoever. Um, yes, yeah, so let's do this window with the andesite. So find some kind of a center, which is probably this post here. Three, four, five, six, seven. This going across here and across the top, and then get our stairs either side just because it's quite dark and lanterns and then glass panes and some of these now of course put this so it's an open window for this one and then um, yeah just kind of wherever you feel would make some good bushes or something that you can add to it There's loads of extra stuff we can do there. Um, I like that open plan like that. And um, yeah, so let's see. We could even have another chimney on this one here, where it meets here. We'll just do it as a free one. Do it up to that level there. And then that could be the top actually probably be better that's the very top there um, let's do it to like that and then hole out there hole out there that's a whole lot of chimneys maybe just the one for that and uh, yeah obviously it's a lot of work to be done with putting floors down and stuff but I kind of um, yeah I'll keep that for an interior video if I ever do one um, so that is if this video does really well and uh, you guys put enough likes on it and it gets enough views um, I will do an interior for it but if it doesn't there's just no point um, me doing it so I'm gonna put a doorway there at the top let's put it across the top there and then we can light it up um, in this bit have that as a door and then just can have bush holding that bit but you get the idea and hopefully you enjoyed this uh, tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it um, I actually enjoyed this one a lot more than usual so uh, yeah I've got stuff down here that we could probably I wonder what you could put for a floor in here slash slash uh, deep slate bricks or something Meh. not brick slabs nope deep slate Bricks. Okay, let's 
making me fall through. That's not good. Um, yeah, that's alright. Something different. <coughs> um, yeah, let's get some lanterns here at least. At the very least. One, two, three, four. Let's get some lanterns there. And uh, yeah. Pot. I'm obsessed with these now. These little things. Um, uh, there. And I guess if you want to put them across the top, you can do that. But I guess for that one, it's not really necessary. Let's see where else we can put some pots. Just random. Let's put three here for the sake of it. Just randomly placing them around. And let's put some for this window. Any more windows we can put some pots in. Just to uh, give it something at least. Because if I'm not doing the interior, I've got to at least do some little bits. Um, but, so like here as well. Just random little flowers around. As you would probably get. Um, just put them around like that. Maybe even put some in these little bits. Okay, anything else that we could do? Might do them here. Just a big row of them, just for the sake of it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, yeah, a large, modern, well, wooden house. Um, I don't know what sort of style I would call it, but it's pretty awesome, I'd say. I kind of like it, so yeah. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video enough to leave a comment and a like really does help me out and uh, yeah I shall see you in the next video peace out we got the right skin I've got the wrong skin again what am I doing oh yeah and you can subscribe if you like yeah so yeah